Hey, Anthony, this is Dora. I talked with you earlier about a video and this is what I meant. So I'm just going to go over it real quick to try to keep it as short as possible, but try to give you some information to help you out. So I first just did a general search for um, landscapers in your area. And, you know, the top ones that come in are almost always ads. And then we have the map pack, which is ideally where you'd like to be. And to do that, you would want to make sure that your Google business page is updated and optimized. And you'd also want to make sure that you have lots of citations for your company. So I also went down to the organic search results to find your main competitor. And it looks like it's Brightview. Now, Brightview also is a national company. So it's rankings. I'm just looking at their local ones. So just to let you know that. So here is yours, your page. I like it. It's clean. It's easy to read. And, you know, it's got, you know, the call now for people to click on. Um, it's It looks nice. I like all the pictures of what you've done. They're, they've, they're gorgeous. I, I really do enjoy looking at that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, the one thing I would really recommend to get onto the first page of Google would be to make sure that you have more content. So when the, the search engines or the the crawlers, I should say, from Google go out, you know, they read your site. They not only de determine whether you have relevant information on there, but they also count how many words you have. And in order to get on the first page of Google and stay there, um, you need to have probably around 1,500 words of content. So by adding the content, that will help you to move up. Um, let's just look at this one, Grand Prairies. You know, it's, it's like... Um, a similar site. They don't have as many pictures. They don't even have as much content as you do. Um, but being a national company, they have a little more power to their website. So it helps them to pull ahead. So if you were to have that um, extra content and then here are a couple of other things that I'm going to show you, it would help you to move ahead of them. So this is kind of what I call the back door to your website. And it's a program I use called AREFs. And what this is just showing is that um, this is the domain rating, and then this is your URL rating. The, the domain rating is pretty high, and, you know, I'm not really sure if it's because of the um, your web host, but um, that's what it looks like is you're pulling in power from the web host. It's not really doing you any good, though, because it's not helping you move up um, because you don't, like, have any backlinks or anything like that. So a backlink is when somebody else gives you a shout out. So basically they put a link to your company on whatever they're posting. Um, sometimes those are clickable link links and sometimes they're non-clickable. Another thing to look at is keywords and you don't have any keywords either, which can make a really huge difference in traffic, which would also help you to rank higher on Google. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. You can get backlinks, you can get keywords, um, so here's your competition. So the reason that they have so much, like I said before, is because they're a national company. But what really helps you is that you can look at their backlinks. There's other programs besides AREFs, and you can go into your competitors and look at their backlinks. And a lot of them are backlinks you can have too. You just click on them, maybe put in your information, you know, do what you have to do to, to get that backlink, especially the ones that are like 50 or higher. But the small ones, they don't hurt either. You know, they don't hurt at all. So the more power that you have, you know, by adding in those really good backlinks, that's going to help you jump ahead of them pretty quickly um, as, as far as like local things go. You know, like I said, this is pulling in some national results. So let's also look at um, keywords. So, you know, just for, you know, we don't really want to look at the bright view things because those, what, like I said, national company, they don't really pertain at all to you because these are people that are looking for their stuff in a specific area. So, but look at this, you know, just people that are looking for brown patch lawn disease. There's over 2000 people every month looking for that. If you were to get up here and rank number one for that, or even in the top five, you know, the potential business is pretty huge. You know, they've got 700 people contacting them every month. Doesn't mean they're clients, but they're at least reaching out. And then same thing, just landscaping company. You know, there's 17,000 people looking for that every month. Now, these also are national keywords because they're not going specifically to your area. So by you using, you know, a 
local keywords that are similar to this, you it would help you to move ahead of them and possibly be on the first page of Google and stay there. And then if you can get yourself into the map pack, that's going to help you bring in some more business too. So this is what I wanted to share. I hope it's helpful for you. Um, I'll reach out to you tomorrow just to see if it, if it was helpful and um, we can just go from there. So thank you. I hope you have a great day.